Hello and welcome back to Taito Ecology. So we, a week ago, uh, I started this game and we and we created this, this uh, desert biome. And, uh, well, a week passed and not a lot uh, actually happened. I had a, a little bit of detrit detritus build up, but other than that, it's, it's basically the same thing. So I have played quite a bit more and uh, and and messed around with some things and, and advanced the game quite a bit. Um, we have quite a few new things in here. Uh, we're, you can see we're at two months, eleven days before I think we left off at somewhere around f like two weeks or so, somewhere in there. Ooh, Bobcat, get the bunny. Are you going to get the bunny? Oh, he did. He did. He chewed on the bunny. Look, there's a dead bunny. <laughs> there's a very angry Bobcat. There's the dead jackrabbit, and there's this all oh, his sleeping friend right next to him. <laughs> uh, but you can check my little thing here. Let's see what we got. Um, lots of things happen, so. We had some starving coral snakes for some reason. I've been having lots of problems with my, with my kangaroo rats. I plopped some rats down there. I figured maybe that's what the snakes need uh, is some rats rather than uh, armadillos. Because they eat snakes. They eat rats. You know, armadillos are too big. Uh, but these things keep dying. Maybe I have... I don't know if maybe I have not enough of them. I don't know. And then the, the detritus went a little high, so I just went crazy and started plopping down some mushrooms. And that seemed to fix... to, to even that out. But then again, the rats and the jackrabbits are dying. I don't know why. The only thing I can I can figure is maybe there's too many predators. Which I still I have two ocelot spots, and that's really the only predator I have. I have I did get some badgers, which is which is exciting. Uh, these guys are omnivores. I guess they are. Um, they could be chewing on a few things. I got some honey bees. You can see my my beehive up here in the uh, the tree. I got a few of them out. You can see the bees buzzing around here. Uh, lots and lots of mushrooms. Uh, we got some new trees here. We have these are sage brushes, and I have some creosote bushes down here. They don't really the trees don't really do anything other than they basically they all do the same thing. I think they just fruit and well, I mean they do what trees do. They fruit and and make more trees. I have a dead jackrabbit right there. And see, everything else seems to be doing okay. We're a little low on some of the animals, like the the snakes. We only have two snakes. Uh, the bees are in good shape. Mushrooms are fine. But how's, how's the bunnies doing? We have one bunny. Why bunnies? Why? Let's pop a few down here. Let's throw out some more rats. Um, I don't know, just there, and then some bunnies, and there. Now I I uh, I was I've been saving up my tea points because of something very special that I want to buy. And it is... Well, let's take a look and see what else we can get. Because we can get a saguaro. And make this an official desert. What can we get that's an expensive animal that we can do? I, I really wanted the, uh, the... The badger, so I got the badger. We can also get a desert tortoise. There's a peccary, which is like a, a pig. Antelope, rattlesnake, coyotes, and deer. Ooh, and a cougar. 75. So with our 40, we could just buy a saguaro... Or we could buy a bunch of other little things. But, uh... I want the Saguaro. We can get Acacia, Desert Willow. Yeah, we gotta get the Saguaro. We're buying it. Yeah. Where's it gonna go? It needs to go... It's big. Right, I saw a green spot. There you go, there we go. Yeah! There we go. Big Saguaro. Woo, now we are a desert. Alright. It kind of towers above everything else, doesn't it? <laughs> the zoom on this game, I'm not okay with. It's like you're either you're either at eye level or you're way out. Uh, whatever. But it is very cool looking. Um, not the mill millipedes. Yeah, we got some millipedes. Those are new. They do the same thing as as uh, mushrooms. Uh, the armadillos seem to be. See again, there's only one armadillo. Not sure. I mean, we're at 99%. The biodome is is healthy. Nothing is telling me anything that's that's wrong. We just seem to have a problem keeping these things alive. I'm, I'm gonna throw out some more. Um, we'll throw a little bit of everything else. A little bit of everything. More bunnies. Um, more bunnies. There we go. We need more rats. There, right there on the on the ocelot. Sure, that's a good spot. Or the bobcat, whatever it is. Um, more badgers. Yes, more badgers. Find a place to put them. 
we can almost get a bigger biome here. We have zone one. Uh, we can actually move to zone two for 50. We have, well, we only have four now since we bought the, the cactus. But there's our zone. I mean, this is all we can really do. I See, one of the things here, it says fish. Fish is not in my animal list. Uh, obviously, there's no water here. But even on the, uh, on the jungle biome, you can't... The fish is in the menu here, but I can't actually buy them. Um, I don't know, maybe if I, if I, how do I go back? If I need to, if I can't do it till I get back, maybe in here where the pond is? I don't know. It's the only animal I see though that's in here that I, that I don't have access to. I mean, these are the one. these are all animals that I have bought. And fish are in there, but obviously I can't, I can't do anything with fish. I can check them. I don't know what that means, though. Oh, check that out. That's where... Oh, that's where everything is. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. My moths. And then we got a couple ants. Ooh, 22 bucks. So, we got a, a good diversity, diversity score on our animals. I think 18. Is 18 good? I don't know. It's higher than 4. Health average is 100%. We have healthy animals. Uh, nothing is yelling at me. That's, that's an accomplishment. So with 26, we may be able to buy something else. Oh, we can buy a turtle. Yes. This will also give our um, our bobcat something else to chew on. Why is it so choppy? It's like bouncing around strange. There we go. Let's see the turtle. Where is he? Where is he? Get, get out of the bushes. There he is. Yeah. He's going to go gnaw on the saguaro. Careful, buddy. Don't bite too hard. Cool. Oh, I think he actually is. Nope. He's going to walk through it because he's an awesome turtle. I like turtles. Uh, let's put this one over here. Yeah, we want more turtles. More turtles. More turtles! There we go. And we got we have one T-point. So, we're not going to be buying anything else, but we can throw out... See, barrel cactus look kind of cool, too, if, if I can't get them yet, but that looks... That was, I almost went for that one. That's like the, the poor man's Sororo, but... Oh, well, we're alright. Oh, yeah, we got 45. We can put another one out. Yeah! And then we can put some of these guys. And then... We have 20 left. We can put a few... Oh, put a sagebrush. There. And 10 more. Let's put some grass around here. There you go, Mr. Badger. Have some grass. Okay. It's, um... Choppy choppy. We have too many animals. My computer can't is panicking. So let's, um... Let's take a look at the other one that we started. The, um... Uh, the... I did, what was it, like a jungle uh, biome? Yeah, this is the Amazon one. Let's see how it's doing. So this one, I just sort of threw a few things in there just to see what would happen. And... Am I getting any alerts? Nope. Nothing is happening. Everything is uh, perfectly fine. There's a dead amp armadillo. Um, oh, I did I did come in here. I did a couple things. I added a couple ferns and just a few animals. But yeah, it's nothing really happened here. This one's kind of boring. Again, see, now we have a spot as if we can put fish in. But I can't put fish in. Maybe I have to get, I have to get to that zone in order to buy the fish. I don't know. Is there an achievement for fish? Ten earthworm. These are all mule deer die of old age. It would take a long time. One year anniversary. I mean, as long as I've been playing this, I'm at uh, two months. 10 years, a decade, 10 years. That's a lot. 50, 100 years, 200. <laughs> uh, no thanks. It's a great game and all, but <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. All right, so this biome is kind of boring. Not a lot going on here. I didn't uh, unlock anything new in here. What's the cool ones in here? We need a fig tree, a papaya, uh, Amazon flame tree, a kapok tree. 
And then what animals can we get here? Uh, Kotamundi. Uh, colored Pickery. A Cougar. Capybara. Jaguar. We can get Earthworms at this biome. We can't get those at uh, in the desert. I guess there's no Earthworms in the desert. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it... It, this game takes a long, uh, takes some time. I, th I know I've, I have discovered that the best way to play the game is to just sort of set things in the background and just sort of let it run while you're doing other things, which is what I was doing. Um, it makes things uh, advance because it's really slow, slow going. I mean, it probably takes oh, probably about 15, 20 minutes to get a week, and in a week you get 20 of these little points, which gets you like basically one animal or one tree. So then you can throw them out, and then wait another 15-20 minutes, and then go go back and do it again. Basically just trying to hope that things uh, stay alive. Unlike my dang deer mice. How are you doing? So we got seven of them. I think that's one of the new ones I just put out. I'm going to try to reduce by the mushrooms. We do have some bunnies there. We got three of those guys. Bees are looking good. The bobcats are doing fine. He says I'm fine. I guess that's what that's. <laughs> that's that or he's really hungry. Uh, there's the badger. My most. Uh, I don't know what's more. I'm more proud of the badger or the the saguaro. The badger's cool. Oh, what you doing, buddy? Let's take a picture of the badger. Then we can go. How, how do I take a picture? There it is. Yeah, see that. Yeah. Oh, we can get two badgers in one shot. And the snake. Eat the snake. Um, I think I showed everything else. Uh, we have some ants around here, but we had those last time. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, once we get to... it's, I think it's 50? Yeah, 50 of these things to get to the next zone. So this is, this is a good time-consuming thing. I'm assuming we have to go in order. It'd be cool if we could just jump over here and try the fish thing out, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that's uh, that's almost three months, two and three quarters months of uh, of Titus Tito game, uh, Tito Ecology. I don't remember the name, but it's it wasn't too it's not too difficult to keep everything in balance. I mean, as long as you have some common sense, I suppose. Well, common sense or stupid rats. And I, the only thing I can figure is that. I just didn't have enough of these and too many predators. Something I can figure because I did buy another bobcat, so I had two bobcats running around. Oh, oh, oh! Armadillos have, are dying. Why? See, it doesn't tell me any of these things. Why? What's wrong with the armadillos? They didn't say they were sick. What's wrong with you, armadillos? Were the ants not tasty? So the only thing I can figure because the bobcats are doing fine. Yeah, we have both of our bobcats. They're in good health. Um, and all of these smaller mammals are getting chewed on, it looks like. They're down to four turtles. So maybe we just need more of these? I mean, we maybe more... They... Theoretically, they eat lots of grass. So maybe something having to do... It was saying that my, my diversity for my plants wasn't very good. Maybe I need to pick up, like, the grass... Or the, the whatever this is, maybe that would make them happier. Maybe they need more to eat, or more variety to eat. That could be the problem, I suppose. Would make sense. I don't know if I can look at something here. So mice. Let's look at the mice. Uh, I want to see the the stats. How do I look at the? This one? Yeah. Um, so armadillos just died. Eat any type of insect. So they would eat the bees as well. Aren't picky about their food. However, they uh, eat mostly in insects and invertebrates. They will also eat small reptiles and mammals. So plenty of food for them. Important prey. A few taste buds. It doesn't say why they would be sick. Uh, 
Life cycle. This is one. Social life notes. Yeah, I don't know. 4.9 on the diversity. And that's green. Why is that one green? Why is this one white? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We got we got 25. We could buy one more thing before we close this thing out. In this episode. Oh yeah, we got the barrel. Ooh, the desert spoon is fancy. Or the honey the honey mesquite, a tree. Which one do we want? Let's get the cactus. Put it up. Oh, they're tiny. Where are they? Oh yeah, there they are, the little bitty guys. You know, some of these, uh, most of these actually that I have don't have much of much fruit. Um, maybe I should have got the honey mesquite fruit. That one has it. So it's possible that some of these need more fruit from the plants than just eating grass. I don't know. I guess it's sort of a trial and error thing. Which is cool. I I think I I like that it doesn't tell you everything how to play the game. That that would ruin the uh, the fun of trying to figure it out. Anyways, uh, we're gonna call this quits. Thanks again for watching. Um, this again was was uh, titled Ecology. I'll put a link to the Steam page for this one. But uh, it's super cheap little uh, biology game. Thanks for watching. Close out looking at one of my fancy Sororo. There we go. Oh, we can get. Can we get all three of them? Oh, yeah. And the bees. Perfect. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.